Wednesday Daily right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley's over there. I uh I'm I'm still Dave. I'm 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 playing hurt. I know. You're weak. I'm weak. You're uh, I'm, suffering. I'm doing, suffering. We had the time change. I was oh, sick shit. all weekend. I, I I Dave, hold me. Please hold me. Oh all that plus that whole hour that we had to spring forward. Oh. It's Ooh. amazing what we complain about. It really is. It's a whole nother level of just, we don't have problems, so let's bitch about this. <laughs> it's an hour. It Let sucks. Let it go. Nah, Let yeah, it, it sucks. Go. Time change sucks. You time change sucks. Time know, change sucks. Honestly. That's my, I'm going to write a song about the time change okay. sucking. All right. You know, you know who you would think would bitch about this? Who would that be? Me. Why? Because I had to wake up allegedly at 2.30 instead of 3.30, and you'd think I would be all upset. Oh, damn. Ch-. No, I'm fine. You're fine. Because okay. you know why? Because it was an hour. Okay. And it's money. It's, I didn't know. I don't notice these things. I really don't. Okay. Well, I do. I think and, people and you don't are, have to. Yeah. It's insane. People need to just. I, uh, I'm, I'm just now hour. coming out of my uh, uh, NyQuil stupor from the weekend. Right. I, uh, now that see that should be fun. NyQuil's no, it's not fun. fun. It's like doing Jaeger bombs, and I. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the difference between Nyquil and Jägermeister. Oh God, you know um, the fact that Nyquil Nyquil's got better. aspirin in it. <laughs> Nyquil tastes better. Oh, and you don't you don't feel like you never want to eat food again when you wake up after drinking Jäger. God, you don't want to consume anything. So gross. And I haven't and I haven't I haven't consumed I haven't had that since maybe my early thirties. So we're going on twelve years at least. Yeah. No. Uh. So I yeah I, no. All right, well, we got some business to do here, so let's get down to it, and uh, let's get this Monday in the books. Come on, Dave, right, let's, let's roll. Do it. Okay, well, another fight in the budget is brewing over President Trump's border wall. The Senate is likely to vote down the president's declaration of an emergency over border security, which they should. It's not an emergency. We've been over this. Uh, the White House is unveiling a proposal that includes $8.6 billion for a border. That's more than the $5.7 billion uh, Trump was originally denied. So this is going to be another fight. And once again, not an emergency. It's an issue. Uh, but here's the thing. The $8.6 billion, you're looking at, uh, we have what, a four, a little over $4 trillion budget. This is $8.6 billion, which is, I believe that's like, if my math is correct, like one-fifth of 1% one of the budget. So we're not talking a lot of money. That will help the problem. Once again, not solve it, but help it. So two things, it's a situation, I've said it before, two things can be true. It's not an emergency. That's a lie. But it also doesn't cost that much. Well, and it does help. Did you watch, so you uh, I think it was uh, Sunday morning yesterday? Mm-mm. You know you know what the, the other Sunday. trick is? People from Mexico what? now fly up to Canada for about 300 bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They don't, need a, they don't need a visa to fly into Canada. For seven bucks, they can get a pass to get into Canada, and then they cross over from Canada. You could you could make it. You could make a well, yeah. If you can afford a plane to see, these are we're, we're, you're looking at the, the people who can't afford plane fare. Okay, I, I understand that. But yeah. So that's mo, you know that's chances that's are if they can't afford that. plane fare, they're not probably a big big time drug dealer either. Uh, we don't know. Look, like I said, you know where I'm coming from. T- I understand what you're saying, but also the the. The objections against it, unless you're saying it's a bad look, that's not who we are. Okay, you know what? I can I can listen to that argument and I can agree or disagree. But saying it doesn't work and it's too expensive, both those are wrong. Because it will work. It won't fix it. It will work, and it's not that expensive. So let's let's stop with the lies on both sides. It's not an emergency. It's not going to solve it. But B, it's not expensive, and it will help. There you go. See, this is Not me being even-handed. This is perspective, even-handedness. There you go. Thank you, Dave. All you're going to get here. Well, what else is going on? Well, th- here's here's some good news. Things looking a little warmer across the state of Michigan after springing forward and everybody incessantly bitching about that. Uh, temperatures are going to be making a jump. Nearly all forecast models have Muskegon and most of West Michigan hitting 60 degrees by Thursday. Now, to put that in perspective, that is the first time we've seen temps that warm 
since last October. Whoa. You know, it doesn't seem like we usually get a little bit of a jump. You'll see like maybe December, January, we'll, we'll have a couple of those unseasonably warm days. No, hasn't happened. That's why, I mean, this, this winter has just been awful. And even 35 and 40 is feeling good. 60 is break out the jorts and the tank tops. It's going to be, it's going to be fantastic. I want to see, I want to see your, your acid wash uh, jorts on Thursday okay. morning. I can show you the ass part right now if you'd like. <laughs> Be happy to. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say no. Okay. But thanks well, for the you offer. Your chance. It's greatly appreciated. And well. uh, it's good to know that despite the fact that you're you're unwell, you're willing to uh, you know show off your tawdry wares. You, you, it looks like you're trying All to right. peek over. The, it looks like you're trying to get a peek over the See? Uh, yeah. see there? Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Lumberjacks <laughs> dropped two over the weekend. Muskegon fell to Dubuque three to two in overtime on Friday. The Jacks then lost for the first time of the season to Central Illinois, getting blanked on Saturday four to nothing. They were five and zero. Oh. Central Illinois was just a whipping boy. But uh, uh, Jacks get to come home one and three on the road trip. So right. uh, get back to the friendly confines, and uh, everything will be looking back up. Everything's Speaking thumbs up, up all the way around. Everything's green lights and all rights. There you go. Hey, speaking of green. Oh, boy. Andy O. That's right. $20 in the hole after Sparty wins a share of the Big Ten Championship. They beat up on Michigan 75-63 to on Saturday night. Cassius Winston fours in 23-16 in the second half. Michigan was up 12 in the first half, and then uh, State just blew the doors off the last 10 minutes of that game, and uh, that was over. It was over, and Michigan now gets the third seed in the Big Ten tournament. Uh, they'll open play on Thursday or on uh, Friday night. Michigan State will play Friday afternoon against the winner of uh, Ohio State and Indiana. So, uh, great weekend for Sparty fans. If you're Michigan, well, you know you're still going to get a good seed in the turn in the Big Ten tournament and in the Big Dance. So, uh, and Andy's twenty dollars going to a great cause. No more sidelines. So there you have it. it's no, win, I'll tell you what, Saturday, around. Saturday to me. Was just an abomination, wait. the whole the whole day. I'm sick. Was, State wins. I can't work at the Ironman game, and Kiss. What, what's left of Kiss is in Grand Rapids, and everybody's taking pictures. And it's like, uh, people, you're not at a Kiss concert. I had a good. I had a good friend of mine uh, went to that show, and she's uh, she was gonna. Uh, I haven't heard the ins and outs. Uh, I assume she's since recovered from that. But uh, uh, I, you know what. I, Kiss, I saw Kiss a few years back. Uh, Aeros, uh, op they opened up for Aerosmith, and it was a great show at Van Andel. Yep. Uh, they still put on a show. So, uh, Last Kiss concert I was at, I walked out on. Why? Uh, you know. It's just not what it used it, to be for you, or I'm, what? It, here's the thing. With with the imposters there. I, the imposters, you, you, you know what? Uh, here's the thing. We, be the band, up, be Paul? Kiss, and I get it that you can't get along, and the other guys can't play in the band and a lot of other stuff anymore. But don't play their songs. Don't put Why the not? other guy. Don't put the two guys, the the two imposters in in the other guy's makeup, and then play their original songs. That's that's poor taste. It's Tommy Tommy Thayer out there playing Ace Frehley songs, like Shock Me. That's that's not good. That's an Ace Frehley song. He wrote it. Okay. He everything. That's that's poor I get taste. It. Ace was the third most important member of the band. A no, Ace They're is only... the band. Ace was no. the band. Ace no, rules. Paul, it's Paul and Gene, and we no, know it's that. Not. Gene is the only bass player that's mattered in any band. No. Because he was, and it's all because of the makeup. Flea. It's all because of the stage presence. It's all because of. Flea. Of, you know, He's a bass player that matters. Break. Les Claypool. Well, not really. Primus. Not really. Come on. I'm telling you. you I know my bass players. People don't. Yeah. Yeah. You're. Yeah. That's like. All right. What about Get out Adam, of here. Go have yourself Clayton a Monday. If, what about Adam Clayton of you too? That's right. Yeah, who don't cares? forget him. Nobody cares about the bass players. Sorry. Hey, guess what? Oh, one more thing. What? Goodbye. What?